Good morning, this is Shelby Law with Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, May 9th, 2022. Precipitation for the past 14 days is shown here. We have seen a couple of good storms moving through the, mainly the northern half of the geographic area, especially western and central Idaho, um, where they've seen much above normal precipitation. Uh, definitely a drier pattern across the southern Great Basin, including western mm -hmm and southern Nevada and into most of Utah. There are a few pockets in Utah where we've seen normal to above normal precipitation uh, across the northern half there. Snowfall for the past 72 hours shown on the left uh, with this recent storm that's uh, that's moved through. We have seen some snow up in the higher elevations there. And our snow depth, current snow depth is shown on the right. We still do have a fair amount of snow in place over the higher elevations in central Idaho and western Wyoming. Uh, and then some, there is some snow over the Uintas and some of the higher elevations in central Utah as well. Um, we do have, we're going to keep temperatures somewhat on the, the cooler to normal side this week with a few more storms coming through and then after this week we're going to warm up so we'll, we'll see our snowpack um, probably starting to quickly decrease. So the satellite image for this morning is showing that low tracking across Idaho this morning, um, keeping our temperatures pretty cool again today with some breezy winds further south. So again by this afternoon that low is still in place over the Pacific Northwest into Idaho. Uh, ventilation rates are high area-wide. We do have those breezier winds out ahead of that low in eastern Idaho, western Wyoming, and across central and eastern Utah. And mixing heights um, are very high for Utah and Nevada. On Tuesday, the low will still be with us, keeping temperatures uh, on the cooler side across the geographic area with continued high ventilation rates. Wind speeds remain breezy out ahead of that low on Tuesday, especially over southeast Idaho and across much of Utah. Those wind speeds pick up there tomorrow, and mixing heights are high area-wide. And this low continues to be in place uh, over the area on Wednesday. Um, keeping things uh, cooler, although we'll start to start to warm up just a bit. Um, ventilation rates still very high. Wind speeds die down a bit on Wednesday, uh, but still remaining somewhat breezy across the Arizona Strip and portions of central and eastern Utah with high mixing heights area-wide. Uh, we do see some winds pick up there along the Sierra Front as well. Forecasted clearing index through the week, through at least Wednesday anyway, um, it's very high across the state. Three-day precip totals shown here uh, are showing the highest chance for precip over Idaho and western Wyoming, uh, but then a chance for precipitation across much of the northern half of Nevada and northern Utah as we w work our way through the next couple of days. On Thursday, another low moves into the Pacific Northwest, bringing continued chances for precipitation to the northern half, especially Idaho um, and portions of far northern Nevada and northern Utah. Ventilation rates still remaining high. That low and that, that trough will kind of stay in place, keeping cooler westerly flow with, with moisture in place over the northern half of the area on Friday. Ventilation rates remaining high across much of the area, decreasing a bit across southern Nevada and southern Utah. As we can see, it's a little bit warmer and drier down there. Uh, temperatures actually will, will really start to begin to increase um, across the southern Great Basin on Friday. And then on Saturday, a ridge builds in to... Uh, Utah, Nevada, um, causing temperatures to quickly increase to the upper 90s across the far southern uh, tip of, of Nevada and southern Utah there. So getting very warm very quickly, um, still cooler and more moist across Idaho. And then on Sunday, that ridge still still in place over the southern and eastern half of the geographic area, keeping temperatures quite warm there. Um, with another trough moving into the Pacific Northwest, uh, bringing some, they're keeping uh, temperatures a little bit cooler there and the um, relative humidity is higher. And ventilation rates remain high on Sunday. So the accumulations for days four and five, this is Thursday through Saturday uh, with that next, well, we have a series of troughs coming through, but this is the next one for the weekend, uh, Thursday into the weekend, best chance for precip. Central Idaho Mountains and Western Wyoming once again fairly typical for May and drier across the south. 
The extended forecast, however, it does start to show a change. We have been in these, this storm track for the last three or four weeks, which has been really great. Um, but it looks like that's finally coming to an end as we head into the second half of May with um, some above normal temperatures settling in to the southern half of the Great Basin area wide really but could get quite warm across the southern half and um, drier than average conditions across the area as again as we head into the end of May um, this should start to create an environment in which our fuels can really begin to cure out our grasses drying and curing during this time um, so we'll really watch for that to see if our, our fire potential starts to increase as those fuels uh, dry out. And this concludes today's smoke dispersion briefing. Please check back on Thursday for the latest updates.